could suffer, could pay off to go for the combo, go for the Mars. I'm just, I'm just so watch how the invoker. You know what I mean? They go for a, another Koi for sort of cheese hero that in the past has sort of been considered a free win hero for them. Koi for Lone Druid is in play. It, uh, I mean, this honestly, I've, so many games we've seen Alliance get this fifth pick, and it's just they he just wins games. He also has with the, they have so many ways to protect the egg now, too. Savage Roar, a lot of different ways. The lane, also, that's a hero that can do pretty well versus Kunkka. Farm pretty, pretty yeah, nicely with. Him. And I'm just curious to see what with that axe with the battle hunger carp. Snap also I mean, with gyro too. Snap plus barrage does. Because this, this get it, it. it is a test right? Because you look at these drafts, and if you're going to go on anything you know about Dota two, you would say Alliance have won this. Yeah, I like. You'd say Alliance have won this, more. but that's the exciting thing. This is a secret lineup that we've not really seen. It is a Yaps or Invoker. It's something they've tested, something that they feel is strong. We don't know what to expect from it. Is it going to be sort of the start of showing us something new here at this TI and showing how good it can be or how bad it can be? Yeah. We'll see which way it goes. So the one thing that the, the support provide, I did actually talk to Yaps or about this. Because what, what is the logic behind it? The what? EMP is ridiculous. EMP, it just, but just early levels as well, it's just... It, Mana. It's so much. Ma the mana burn is insane. Like, it is really just so crazy inside of team fights. Apply the pressure. How he does in the lane. That's the one thing is like Voker in the laning phase is. But you said it's strong. Weak. You said you got the combo with the axe, right? When you have the combo with that, but if they get on top of him, he's squishy. I'm wondering what items. He's You're so slow as that invoker. You know, I think. I I can't remember. I watched a lot of his games when he was playing the last few weeks. I'm just saying the starting item. What he starts just in the laning phase. Because the lane is so important. If you mess up and you... You have to be able to get... But ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to game two of Secret versus yes. Alliance. It's Secret. the Bassy rush. Okay. Prepare Bass for yeah, battle. Bassy, yeah. yeah, he Bassy goes boots. Uh, okay. Let's, cool. let's see it. So let's we it. saw game one, Secret. Able to win with very much more standard lineup. It was a brood. It was an arc. Tough game, but they did win this time round. Yapsaw Invoker front. Yeah, this is one of the sort of cause we are starting to see other teams well play the play the gyro, get in the carry position. A lot of times now, at least the IO it still can work. Not necessarily your sort of your your first sort of carry that comes to mind when you think about strong carries at the moment in the meta, but teams are still playing it and they're still winning with it. So what was the reason for that? What are you trying to dodge? You don't want to go head to head with the lone druid. Gyro just doesn't. Thirty seconds. Tiny to below. I but think you can surely, just in the mid lane as a gyro, with your base damage, you're you're not going to get to hit a lot of creeps, right? Yeah. Against uh, if it is going to be the lone druid, you would imagine. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how one each can do it. Puppy. Already, Puppy. Dead. It's been found out. Tiger's able to trap him with the brambles, and that's first blood for Boxy. I think, Alliance. I think mid, you at least get your like your levels, and you get, you're always gonna be able okay. to get some secret. Last at bottom, you're just gonna probably chain. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. The I'll be interested to see how the CS looks. I really feel that it's gonna be tough. Oh, you're against a man and his bear. Oh, push your right foot. But that's four bounty runes. Oh, okay. Never mind that. Uh, he's gonna be fine in mid. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just got four bounty room gold. He got a wraith band from it, right? That's yeah. Your, your oh, yeah. Th out. There's no worries in the mid lane. Yeah, he should. He should. Yeah. He'll be looking far, but it's still it's it's a good lane for Lone Druid. Lone Druid's still gonna be able to have good, great ways to get last. It's just Jaro has a really quick projectile, which time kind of nicely versus. We'll see how he does. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, all these lanes. Top lane. He talked about the Axe Invoker dual lane from Secret. What sort of pressure, Alliance? Oh, I just missed two blasts. And the other one gets denied in the top lane there. One out of the as that axe. Skilled Helix as well to do that. Yeah, it's a good time to cut the wave up top and make Foxy Farmer. <laughs> Try lane. Spear out, that's a kill. Out. Alliance. I think those kills that they do need to find when they're running it. Try lane. Troll against the rest of lanes of low cooldown. Oh, 
smoking him. Yep, she's gonna be low level off of him. Kill on the core, Alliance. Another kill with this tri lane. Does not provide a whole lot here. He's one. He just got the mana for the. Does not have it. So now they know that they have to be able to try to match this tri lane here and die. Just cutting. The Absolute had no purpose. Still pretty strong tri lane here. Come. We go onto the cold snap. Got the turret. Two and mid game. They actually get it with that. Wow. They actually they have to connect that torrent there for that, that kill. Yeah, they, they had to hit everything and they did secret. Nisha in the middle lane is falling behind. Does manage to grab the double damage room from the top, so it will help him through waves back up and as expect quite for having the one. No. High level gyro though, right? Very getting, high level. The and he can make moves around the map. That's Looks like yeah, been able to set the point, but it hasn't really been. Zai's gonna be. Able to... Boxy's actually quite a lot of last. He's now able to camps in. Zai definitely gonna. He does want to rush that bank. Saw some. For Alliance to you know, try and look for kills again. Trading boxy box is gonna go for the combo. Okay, kill him and now Zai can look to try and stay down a little bit underneath the tower. He has that health regen from the ring. Dunk. Going in the good toss back will stop Zai from being able to finish the kill off. But Zai will probably go hunting again back in the trees. Back down bottom. Attempt on for two of them, but Zane is able to dive away and be able to walk back in time. Zai's going to the hook first this game. Not good. Not get burst by the tiny hunting. It's not too bad. That DD really helped him out quite a lot here in that. Waves away. Yeah. Testing the creeps. What a big game. Tries to step forward. This cold snap turret catches him out. He has got the stick charges. He's trying to get away. Mid one. Can't quite line up a hit, but doesn't wow. need to. Yaps off with the right clicks. Finishing off Mickey once again. The X Mark on the Sanias. He can go for more. Daniel managed to dive out. He's under attack. Does grab Bouncy Root. Boxy will be able to bully his eye away from being able to hold on to this point, but also sending the bear over was able to take the bounty rune from the secrets half the map. We got the first four bounty runes, Alliance got the next four bounty runes. But this bottom tri lane, Alliance, they they they're suffering down here quite a lot. I mean Mickey dying twice down here with Tri Lane versus Charges will stay alive. Radiance the X marks. Yeah, Harpy does come in in time to get him away before Alliance can pick him off. So, Secret able to keep 4 3 alive. The Brina spawns. He's just going to get lucky again. We'll be able to find an arcane room. Wants to make something happen with it. He starts to make a beeline straight towards the top. He's getting pinged. They know he's going to make that move. Like we said, that's the one thing about the gyrocopter versus the. He can make rotations. Lone well, can't respond. He's trying to make a dive. They want to secure this tower. They may know, but well, yeah. Okay, Boxy doesn't. Dyer's top Jump himself over towards attack. the shrine. 
exploit this play, but Secret, they're able to finish off the Dying tower with some aggression. The Zai's been doing with pulling, a lot of damage has been done to the tower. tower yep. off, keeping Zai's network very, Dying very high. Poiko with no hesitation, fall. immediately glyphs the mid. Tower, puppy was over. We Attacking for more. Chase, if he gets a, a tangle. Radiant's mid tower is, is under attack. Where is it? Two. There it is. Will no. easily be enough to get the kill. Koi Frey able to dive Dyer's in and take down Puff. Are fortified. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Koi Koi is just looking. Koi Koi has the door. One of them, one tries to TP out. The group's going to be there. Gatsby, Curse Crown, as well as the Shadow Realm hit. Brings the one down low, and they'll get the kill. That lines is into the trees, and they won't lose anything in return. Back to being able to Radiance kill off their one to have a punish where Puppy's not around the lane. Mid, over. Kicks off, but Nietzsche has got stats to sort of hold his ground and deep with his wrap round from Zai Boy. The whole world of trouble. Dunk down from Zai. Quake was punished for trying to poke at the gyrocopter. He's got to be a little more careful how far he steps up. He's already claimed the middle tower, so when he goes up for those type of aggressive plays, it's, it's like he has a chance of maybe getting the kill. Also, a much better chance. Bit of a step too far. And with these and the item timing, force that the runner alliance. It'll be hard for alliance to deal with him once he has that back up. Uh -huh. you get stack up there. Problematic. Yeah, they also have they have the axe for. The other matchup they do troll you have battle trends axe gets a good card out damage control the cold snap and the rocket barrage don't end up up the end it, it wasn't okay. quite the combo with the <laughs> missile but it gets the kill so they sort of stack up the spells there as mickey is dead rotation from nisha they're making those they're making their tri lane work this i mean both both teams had a little bit of weird tri lanes, I would say Alliance, I like theirs because they had the uh, whip. But it made it work with their unorthodox invoker, crystal maiden, cult. Lots of spells to go. Zai will just go for He's not going for the Vanguard. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh. At this stage of the game. Yep. Foxy will be going for the other. Otherwise, we'll be are scanning. Run. See, there are some squishy heroes, right? Gyrocopter can. <laughs> Also wasted. He's gonna be the one running around looking. They have a launcher. Oh, Doesn't make sense. That he needs to be the one. The Mask of Madness built. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Back a little and started to slow down bottom but since they they've ended up just sort of trading kills Be good enough and insane yep drag back by the x mark <laughs> see how much the mana burn really i mean that one doesn't really matter because he's how much it actually takes no oh, he's gonna have level time around we're back to secret being the team to take all four bounty rings <laughs> what I so, just, well, we know what's going to happen funny. in 15 minutes. So it's going to be a large grab and hold. Oh, the torrent actually catches Quake Foot. And again with that gold snap. He grabs out with the X mark into the boat. They've got him caught out. A slam down, dunk down from Zai. Seals the kill. And immediately, it's 10 minute mark. They have this siege. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. As Zai keeps getting these kills, too. He got that one as well. On After the Vanguard, he's. So far. Lights need to. The big thing they do have is a lot of team fights. That's what we're gonna Dyer's be. Middle tower has six has he does now. We'll have Dark Willow. Now, they're in trouble. Lone Druid and Troll Warlord, it's not really great heroes. Mark. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Zai doesn't have the...
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Top, thank you. Stick us through. Make him feel. Play around. Right Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. They want to clear out their junk. You know that she. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Have to use this. They have their team fight available. They're not level 6 on Tiger still. Willow's still not. Okay, we'll do it. We'll get a kill to start things off. Well, we'll kill it. There you go. There you go. One kill does it. Tiger's now hit level 6. There's the first straight out from two of them. A move with the combo. The sun rays out as well. Mikkel on the man. And they put the sun and the fire around them. Foxy trying to head towards it, but it's pulled. From the possession school, grabs him away. They'll turn towards the sun. Secret, they'll kill off his center as well. High back coming out from Boxy. He wants to get stuck back in and help out the team. And it will allow them to get mid one. Should have a good chance of getting Isha as well, actually, with that play. And straight away, first hit route from point, but comes in. Lions will be able to overall a secret for those deep kills that they ended up going for. Did require a buyback from Boxy. Both Nisha and mid one get taken out. Fantastic buy. Super worth it. Quite a lot more. And that secret walking, like, if they lose their CM instantly, they walk into the. Die in that path. Buy back. Play an outline. But now Zai, I believe, does have. He does. So now it's uh, secret's done. time to, yeah. to go for a. Go for a jump, go for a smoke. That was also, like, the perfect place for Lions to fight, too, right? The egg got cleaned up very quickly, the way a secret. That fear is the next. Here, I'll get some. They're hunting for a coin. Oh, he's, would be he's in the trees. Saw him. Fair hit oh, side. He's into the trees. Gets the grab with the call. Puppy laying down the altar. Make sure the damage is there. It's a little early, but the job's still a good one. It's a secret. Coin for him can now turn this into the Dying push themselves. Look at the tier one bottom. Dead. Really fast paced line. And they're not really very cooldown the line. Their so longest cooldown is what? Boat, I guess. Boat, EMP Freezing and stuff. Alright, fine. It's fine. But well, you, well, you know what I mean. Not as bad as normally you. Yeah. In comparison, you look at like. Yeah, you look at alliances. They're, they're pretty reliant on fighting around the supernova. Especially with the start that they've had in the game bar here. They're gonna have to rely on some. Because of them protecting that. It's a bit hard here. But they have bought some time Dyer's at least for bottom tower is under attack. that maelstrom. But like I said, there's there's natural counters for the axe. So he's getting dunked in. He's gonna be rushing that. Very annoying. Oh yeah. He kept low. I'm going into hiding. For any yeah, it's either BKB or you have to like battle trends after the spirit goes on you instantly. Basic sure. dispel. Smaller intro. Same place. Bounty. Setting up the fight for lines available. So buff, he's the one. Radiant out here. So hard to sort of start the fight. Just down there, tanking the tower hits. Of space with the pressure. Two big items together, the axe and the maelstrom. Tiger knows that he's triangle here. He's trying to push this side. They don't want to take this fight clearly here. Split push gone. Hill for Alliance. It's a little awkward to play because they have this blink on. Been able to do that much with it. Been able to find those catch costs that they would hope for pushing in large numbers. And they're just Dyer's hiding too, they're hiding the squishies. Look at the are hiding in the tree line. Puffy's gone for the double bracer and a raindrop to protect himself from tiny. Oh, his eyes showing. The grab. Oh, follow up. Cold snap sign. Pick up the damage. It's saying it will be able to dive away between the cold snap ticks. Himself alive. The story from the tower, though, secret will be able to success. that one down. Away. 4k lead for Secret at 6 minutes in. He didn't show himself. He 
speed, but he hid immediately, expecting a move. The way that they've been playing, Alliance is probably starting to recognize, hey guys, there's, there's a play like some... Th sitting right behind him, following his... This will come in handy. Across the board on those stats. Top in the... Guard kills, steps, last hits. Yeah, first thing to be at. They're right in the top. Fuck, look at the X. That's a good cross well on the edge. Holding Boxy down in place on the boat, but still. He is pretty tanky, he's pretty beefy. They'll grab him back once more. Bear's gonna be sent out, only catches on his side. The rest of the secret able to dodge it. More. Very buff though, and they cannot. Alliance still just trying to catch up. Mickey Dyer's has the belt of the is under attack. Play, because he just. Very confident. Another tier two. The map. Really have the pressure up. Yeah. Alliance. Be ready for a five man defense. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle two. tower has fallen. Tech, they're going through it in their time. They have the Radiance out, that's what Radiance top tower again, but is under gotta attack. Gotta get that. Oh, TP has fine point for trying to TP out in the trees. Koifa is dead. Fools die. Immediately so, goes walks him back know. up. He's got the more information. to grab that whoever's in the neighborhood. Alliance have to find a for Insania to escape. And when Phoenix is dead, that's their time. Roche is gonna die pretty big on the toilet. Break. And it's the end. Spirit Vessel done. Freaking guard completed the design. Everything's in place for Secret to get this Aegis and push on for high ground. Yeah. It really looks like it's gonna be a tough time to get some lines. They're, they're gonna get their... They should be able to get the radius to come quite this way. Oh, Zai continue to have a flawless game as the X 5-0-3. They're just steamrolling for now. 7k gold lead already breaking. High ground like you mentioned. That Aegis, they've got the Solar Crest 2 for Nisha, so he's that much stronger. Find anything here. Still in the, still in recovery mode, still trying to get that Radiance out. And they get to just trying to farm a BKB, but he's still a ways away. Faz was over. Jump in. Real close for the end. That's not in time. Boy. Should we go for something for Epper? Nice. Double HP though. Careful how he posts. Look for that. That became a niche. Now starting to move it towards the bear. Dice, he's able to get in the back line. Able to take some dunk down in Senia. Now he turns as well towards Mickey. Mickey is in trouble. He's out of mana. He's out of health. That's Mickey dead too. A buyback comes out. From Insania, a secret again, just getting kill after kill. They tried to get a wrap around there to protect, but Yapsar actually got the spirit vessel on the box before he got a blink off, so he interrupted the whole fight there. And now Zai's not only got a full Crimson Guard, he's got a full pipe as well. Zai jumping in onto Boxy. No damage. Koifa's trying to hit back with the bear, but this 21 minute pipe Crimson act is almost impossible for. For a line to deal with, they just run down Boxy. Boxy has to buy back. The rags in the middle lane in trouble. A secret 11k lead. Egg comes out. Secret will look to try and take it down. They can't quite get it in time. They're being forced back. The super nerve is successful. They're on the edge of the nation. Now we're somewhere down. They're burning mid one. They're burning side. Tornado comes out from Yamsu the whole time to mine. Secret still 